Bill Gates in his speech did warn us that one day anything that will kill millions of people is a microbe and not a missile. Today the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. Not missiles, but microbes. Now, part of the reason for this is that we have invested a huge amount in nuclear deterrence. But we've actually invested very little in a system to stop an epidemic. We're not ready for the next epidemic. He mentioned about it in 2015 TED Talks. The next outbreak, we are not ready. Long before the beginning of the pandemic. He also warned us that we are well equipped to fight a nuclear war rather than an outbreak. We have invested very little in it. On December of 2019, the outbreak of COVID-19 began. We have not gone over it yet. And I did mention a solution for the pandemic in my previous video. Since we have got the wind of the future, I think it's time to discuss the pandemic's future. What will be the origin of the next pandemic? Will it be a warm insect or a lizard? Well, what if I tell you? It can be our past. Welcome to Know the Unknown and this is the origin of the next pandemic. The origin of this swine flu can be traced back to domestic pigs and the origin of COVID-19 was traced back to bats. There is a possibility that the origin of the next pandemic can be traced back to our past. To understand and know why, we need to understand what permafrost is. Permafrost is a frozen layer consisting of soil, gravel and sand put together with ice. It can be on the surface or the underground. The average temperature of the permafrost is usually below 0 degree centigrade. Basically, it's just a frozen piece of land. The question is, how can a frozen piece of land potentially start a pandemic? When an organism dies, it decomposes in a step-by-step -step process. If a human being in the past might have died with an infectious disease, the body will deteriorate over time. Still, if the body did not have time to decompose and was frozen, the virus will be preserved in the body. Due to the increase in the Earth's core temperature, the ice melts and the virus will be free. This can go on for thousands of years. If the permafrost might have been found thousands of years ago and it's melting, it's like the resurrection of the pandemic. Once the virus is free, it can be underground, water or spread through the water systems from rivers, lakes or canals, then on mutating from animals and spreading. From the genetic point of view, if our ancestors had immunity to the virus, we might have potentially lost the immunity to fight the virus along the way. As it is a virus that evolved early on, it will have a very fundamental structure and it will be very challenging to make a vaccine, let alone a medicine. In short, if the next pandemic comes from a permafrost, it will be the worst condition than what we are facing now. Rest assured, we do have a solution for that, but that's the story for another day. This is Harish Angadala signing off and I'll see you in the next one.